previously we have created registration form so today i am going to show how to validate that registration form using java okay let's see mm. this is my project now registration form that what i have created previously i will go through this registration form and today i am going to show how to validate each and every field in our registration form now this is what we have let's run this form so i will run this by clicking on right click and run file so you will get the output right so you type here everything anything on clicking here nothing will display here so today i am going to show you how to verify these these fields and how to give action to this register button so for this let's continue okay go to design and right click on each and every field right click change variable name okay change variable name i will use for this user i will use yeah for first name in a small letter first name okay then for this last name now email or phone i will use email and in confirm email and phone i will use c email means c represents confirm c email and i will use here change variable name password password and here also confirm password right that's why c pass or now <coughs> you already have given change name here first name last name email or phone like that so that's why you have to click here double click on it not like this double click on it you will reach here right where is your cursor here this is your cursor now whatever you have to do in that you have to do here now i will take a string a string str i means my name is first name that's a f name f name is equal to from where i have to get that first name means i have to get from my here right so i have here first name that's why i have to get those values from this first name that's why i will take this one go to source code and first name dot get text whatever you are typing there you will get here okay now for copy this all copy copy this one copy and paste it everywhere right now next in next what is there last name that's why i will give real name is variable from where i have to get means last name last name next what is next next is our email or phone that's why sorry that's why from for this email right so email now i will i have to use email now confirm email see email for this i have see email so confirm confirm email for that now this is password for this i have password right so now this is a 
कॉन्फर्म पासवर्ड फॉर दैट आई हैव सी पासवर्ड सी पासवर्ड नाउ आई हैव टू वैलिडेट इज एंड एवरी वन राइट सो नाउ आई विल यूज इफ एफ name dot equals md means i have to show message j option pen dot show message so message dialog use here mm here use nothing null and Deal with this all. Right message. First name cannot be empty. Can be empty. Empty. Okay. Now let's run this our program. Now let's run. Let's check it out. See, there is no name I have given. That's why I have to see first name can be empty. It will display this message here. If you you have, if you are not typing anything, if you type anything, then it won't show that message, right? Now clear this and enter. It is saying that first name can be empty. now for each and every every field you apply the same thing right so copy this one use like this and only copy this this one copy and paste right in your name use in second l name l name in third email 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 and say here last name can be empty and in email you should you should enter your email enter your email and next password password enter your password okay in this way you have to validate and if you are enter everything now you have to say else I have display only this message means validation successful. For this, you type here validation successful, and let's try it. Save it and run. Type everywhere your name. Like with thumb, llama, email, gathered email dot com. Copy it and paste it. Type your password. Type your password and enter. It is saying validation is successful, right? If you are making it. 
it is empty now see interior password it is saying that interior password and if it is if you clear this one then it is saying that you should enter your email right so it will check one by one that's why your password is also not there that's why it is saying that like that right if it, it is if you enter this one then it won't say it will say validation successful <laughs>